pitch back up is going to be the difference between Thursday and Wednesday. Friday, when my hard drive crashes, I need all of those backups to put things back together. Okay? That's an incremental backup on top of a full backup or a base. Now let's talk about differential. Let's say on Monday I take a full backup of my hard drive. And on Tuesday I take a differential backup. Tuesday's differential backup will be exactly the same as the incremental backup would have been. Wednesday I take another differential. Wednesday's backup will be the difference between Monday and Wednesday, not Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday's back, it'll be bigger, obviously. Thursday's bad differential backup will be the difference between Thursday and Monday. And obviously bigger still. So, since differential backups are bigger, why would I do that? The answer is this. On Friday when my hard drive crashes, all I need is Thursday's differential and Monday's base. I don't need the intervening ones. Therefore, at any point in time I want to, on my, on my set of differentials, I can erase all the differentials except the last one and save the space. So why do you do incremental? Faster, uh, and they allow you to do time-based reconstructions. Thank you, I almost forgot about that. Remember my start, one of the reasons you back up is so you can restore your machine the way it looked at a given point in time. You can't do that with differentials, but you can with incrementals. The other reason you might do incrementals is I believe Acronis is the only product that offers differentials as an option. There's two kinds of computer learning. Those who have backups and those who wish they had backups. And with that in mind, I'll ask for any, any questions you might have. Yeah? Okay. You make your full backup, delete a bunch of files, make your incremental backup, are the uh, files you deleted still in your uh, incremental? No. I mean in your original? No. Yes, yes. In the original, yes. In the incremental, no. And the same with differential? Yes, that's true. So that when you rebuild from the master file and the second file, the ones that you deleted will come back? As long as you're rebuilding from a backup that was done after the deletion, they will not come back. But if you're rebuilding from a backup that was done before the deletion, they will come back. I showed this to my grandson, and he said, is that a, is that a sale kitty? <laughs> you all know what a sale kitty is? Yeah. Run over in the flat. Run over the road, and you can pick it up and sail like a frisbee after it bakes for three days. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Thank you. John, I've got a, after your hard drive crashes and you want to restore, can you explain to the group how it's able to do that since there's no operating system on the machine that you're trying to restore to? Well, that's a very good question. We should have talked a little bit about that. <coughs> With a Cronus, you can boot the mic off me. Cronus online, when you first install it, you can make what is called an emergency boot disk with Cronus. With Windows backup, you will have to reinstall Windows and then run the backup and recover everything else. Now, I'm surprised. I didn't get a question I was prepared for. Nobody asked me. Nobody asked me about the online backup service. How about the online backup service? <laughs> Uh, I investigated, and I get ready for this, I investigated Carbonite, and I investigated one called Mosey. And what I concluded is they won't fold up and go away like a couple of online backups have done because they're pretty well funded. But 
Neither one of them will allow you to restore your hard drive to the point where you can reboot the machine. If you have a backup with Mosley or with Carbonite, and your hard drive crashes, you'll have to run down to the store, buy a new hard drive, put it in, install Windows, install all the updates, install all the software, and then recover your files from Carbonite. So if you're already under pressure because your hard drive crashed, <laughs> you don't want that pressure. So when you look at a backup program, and I only talked about two real backup programs here, Windows Backup and Acronis. The first evaluation I do of it is, can I restore my hard drive from the backup and have the machine boot? And I can with Acronis. I didn't talk about the product, but Norton has a product called Ghost. It will also do a complete restore. There are very few products in the marketplace that will allow you to do a complete restore from your backup. Yes? Have you had experience with the one that's been passed out on a disk here? No. Where's your other half? I had that, that's, I forgot the name of it, but mm -hmm. that looked to me like it was a data backup, not a disk backup. But I can't. Is, is that full backup with operating what you call an image? You can call it, yes. Yes, that's what you call an image. That's correct. Windows will not, if I have a full backup of my hard drive with Windows, and I have to be out of the store and buy a new hard drive, I cannot make the machine operate from that backup alone. And the same is true with these uh, online ones that you Absolutely. Any problem with just doing a full backup of the phone at the same time without doing any incremental or differential? Only time and space. Just time and space. Huh? A full backup, a Cronus on a good backup device like I showed you, a bus attached setup, will back up approximately one gig a minute. So if you're doing a full backup on a 20 gig use, that's about 20 minutes. If you're taking a incremental, depending on what you've done that day, it might be 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, John, I think it's important to note too that with the Acronis product, uh, you can back, you can password protect the file that it creates, and also you can use Acronis to go and get a particular individual file. In other words, if, if you messed up a particular file, you can go back and with Acronis, and you don't have to reload everything. Uh, that's a very, it mounts the drive as a virtual drive. That's a very nice feature, and Acronis has done that better than anything else I've seen. Yeah. Acronis has something where you can go through a process called mounting an image, and you go through a process of mounting your last backup. And the results of that mounting is a virtual drive letter. Maybe it's Q. And you can drag and drop from Q just as though that was a real hard drive. Anything that was in their backup now is available, looking like it was part of a Windows drive. And that's a very powerful tool when you happen to erase something you shouldn't have erased. Okay, now I'm going to take the mic off. <laughs> Thank you.